everybody, welcome back. Uh, this morning I am on my way up to Stillwater, Oklahoma on a vintage Fender Amp Safari. Uh, last night I got a lead at about 10 o'clock that this guy up there bought a 1967 Blackface Super Reverb at some kind of farmhouse estate auction thing and paid like a hundred bucks for it. And you guys know that's my favorite amp ever, so of course I want to grab this thing. But it's only $400 if I come up there and buy it this morning with cash. So the only catch is this is the most rusted amp I have ever seen from the speakers to the transformers, everything. So uh, we're going to pick it up today and bring it home and try to fire this thing up and see what happens. So. Uh, maybe it's the deal of a lifetime. We will see. Otherwise, it might be a, a, a good restoration project for the channel. So I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride and we will see what happens. Apparently, it's going to be in this house right here. This old house. Uh, down in Stillwater, so I'm gonna go in and check it out. I'll report back. I picked it up, and as you can see, this thing is crazy rusted out, but everything is there. The original foot switch, reverb tank down there, which these old tanks are the best, so I'm happy to see that. Um, but all four original. Fender, I believe they're Jensen speakers, Fender labeled, but our original rusted though. You've even got, I don't know what that is on there. Um, but I mean, look at the rust on this thing. So I'm gonna get this back and, and we'll check it out, see if it fires up. The tubes do look original in there. So that could be a bonus. All the tube shields are there. I mean, just untouched. It just looks like it was left under water or something. I don't know. And then he just gave me this thing. I, I have no idea what this is. It says Fender Amp Can. I've never seen this before. Um, it's rusted out as well. But it's got a Fender labeled speaker there. But he said, if you want it, it's free. So I said, why not? So we'll have to find out exactly what that is. That could be worthless. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm going to get it home and, and we will uh, give this thing a test. take a look at this thing so here it is in all of its glory the 67 blackface super reverb I just got it inside here I haven't done anything to it but I will tell you a lot of these pots are totally frozen up I, the reverb pot maybe will move uh, and the base pot nearly frozen this volume pot here as well almost frozen up so you can use a little contact cleaner, spray it in there, and hopefully they will come loose, but some are easier than others when doing that. But um, despite all this thing's problems, it's still a desirable amplifier, and it's got the original grill cloth, which these you know mid-60s fenders with the kind of brown looking grill cloth, that's to me, that's the best look. Original logo, faceplate, all the knobs are original. Uh, it does have a pretty good ding right here in the corner, which I can try to fix. Let's flip it around and we can take a look at some of the problems with this one. Okay, well, here's the good and the bad of it. The good is that it's got the four matching original blue label, uh, Fender labeled Jensen speakers. People actually seek out these blue label speakers because they're, they're really desirable, they sound good. 
Um, but as you can see, there's some surface rust on these, which uh, to be honest, I mean, I don't normally see surface rust on these speaker baskets. So um, who knows, they could be totally fried and uh, more than likely um, these old cones needed to be redone anyways. Now, uh, I guess this thing sat in a barn or something for decades and uh, it was exposed to moisture and you can see a lot of the Tolex is pulling off um, up here as well. I can re-glue this. I've done that many, many times on these amps and uh, it comes out looking really good and it's pretty easy, but you can see, I mean, it's, it's really pulled off. So um, that'll be a fun project, but it's got the original harness here with, I don't know if that's like some spider eggs or something on there. Um, the original two prong cable was never even replaced. Uh, the original reverb tank and bag, the um, tube chart is even still in place and mostly not ripped apart, which you usually see them just destroyed and gone. So that's great. And then, uh, well, let me show you um, the foot switch, which, you know, it's pretty rusted, but these usually get rusted anyway. So that's not a huge deal, um, but it's, it's rare to find these. these. These were usually lost or destroyed. So to have this with the amp, um, these will bring, you know, uh, about 75 bucks on the used market if you just wanted to get rid of it. Side note, um, I just quickly Googled this. This, I don't know what is in here, but it, it's pretty heavy for how small it is. But um, Fender amp can patent pending. Apparently, this is more of a modern thing and it runs on a battery. And I just, I've never heard of this. The guy was like, if you want it, it's yours. It came with it. So, I mean, sure, it's it's been rusted as well. So who knows if this thing even works. It's supposed to have a charger that comes with it. Okay, so finally, let's check out what kind of tubes that we've got in here. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna try to power it up and try to play it. And um, I don't recommend doing this. Uh, it's not really safe for me or for the amp itself. Uh, and I'm gonna get probably some comments about it, but this is also my channel and this is what I do. I make videos and and show these experiences as they happen, so. All right, uh, let's take a quick look at the tubes before we power it on. Actually, you know what? We could just take this rusty back plate off. Uh, the tube selection in here, we have an old RCA, 6L6. Um, that's, I believe that's another RCA here. And uh, what is this? Made in Great Britain. So let me just go ahead and pull this one. Might as well pull it. Oh, it's a Mullard GZ34 rectifier. And even though these tubes are a little crusty looking, I will say they don't show any signs of being blown up or broken. So that's a good sign. Now the transformers in this amp are what scares me. Uh, they do have a lot of surface rust on them, but you know, surface rust is just that. Um, the components inside could be perfectly fine. Uh, and maybe I will pull this chassis out. We'll open up the chassis and, and if you guys really want to see inside, we can, we can do that later. Uh, let's take a look at the tube complement here. That is a Telefunken. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. That looks like another Telefunken. Oh, that's an RCA. Sylvania 7025. All right, guys, if you want to look away now, this would be the time to do it, but this is what I do, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. All right, so I've got this thing rigged up here, and I've got my Royer on the cabinet, so if it does come on at all, we should be able to hear something. Um, I checked all the tubes. They looked good. I didn't see any visible sign of them blowing up or being broken or anything like that. Uh, the speakers as well. They looked like they were intact, although, you know, rusted on the uh, baskets themselves. The two-prong cable was probably a little sketchy, but I've currently got it plugged into a voltage reducer, so this, this thing will not be seeing full power. 
And again, for the last time, this is not something that you wanna try for yourself. You wanna take this to someone who knows what they're doing, have them dial it up slowly, make sure all the tubes are good before doing this because you can really harm components. And this is just not a risk that you wanna take unless you are making a YouTube video uh, like I am. So here we go. We're going to flip the power switch and see what happens. All right, we got the light on. So that's a good sign. That's all we can ask for right now. Uh, let me check the tubes and see if they are lighting up. Okay, so the uh, RCA 6L6s have got power to them and the GC34, everything is lighting up and looking good. Nothing is looking really blue or discolored or anything like that. So the tubes are working. The original 60 year old RCAs are working. I'm going to flip the standby and see what happens here. All right. You hear that? That sweet sound. That means we're live. far but uh, I got to be responsible and turn this thing off I, but I, I'm shocked the reverb is on and I'm not getting anything out of it so could be a tube preamp tube at 87 or it could be dead but anyways this amp as rusted as it is uh, I, I cannot believe it and completely original just a couple replaced tubes but half the tubes were were original and literally straight out of the barn from Stillwater Oklahoma and this thing works 60 years later almost Wow well that was fun. It's always fun for me to, to get something new, uh, or old rather, and show it off on the channel and uh, take you guys along for the ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, maybe it was painful to watch at times, but it's all in good fun, I guess. And I love picking these amps up and restoring them. And I think this one will be a great one to restore on the channel. Uh, thus far, it sounds like the speakers are working and the tubes are working. Um, I'm gonna have my amp guy down in Norman go through it. He's currently working on my other Super Reverb, but uh, um, you know, I'll have, him, I'll have him take a look at it and maybe we could get this thing up and running, put some new tubes in it. If the speakers are good, you know, we can uh, roll with it like that. And I'll do an update later on on the channel. But I did say actually that I would pull the chassis out as much as I don't want to do that right now. Uh, might as well, you guys are sitting here watching. So let's pull the chassis and see what it looks like inside. Uh, best case scenario, we would have those original blue Mallory caps. That's what you wanna see in these blackface supers. That's you know, what makes them desirable to those crazy amp people out there. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll pull the chassis 
and then you guys can go about your day. But thanks for watching. If you've watched this far, I really appreciate it. And uh, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave, leave a comment, leave a like, whatever, uh, anything like that helps. And um, you know, I'll try to take you guys along on these little safaris, as Joe Bonamassa calls them, uh, because they are fun. It's fun to document them. It's kind of a pain, but uh, this one turned out and it worked. I cannot believe it. Okay, let's, let's pull the chassis out. Okay, I'm back. I had to really work on this one screw here to get it to come out. It was rusted shut. Uh, but I think we're all freed up here and ready for the chassis to be pulled out. I just realized why the reverb probably didn't work is because it was not plugged in, actually. I didn't even check that. I was so concerned with trying to get this thing going that I didn't even see that. But anyhow, here is the chassis. We're hoping for the blue Mallory capacitors um, and we're hoping for no surprises so here we go uh, it's a little dusty you know but I think we're looking pretty good actually you can see these are the blue Mallory caps that you want this is a uh, slightly different looking than my 64, 63 Super Ever, but these are the other blue Mallory's that you want to see. Basically, it looks like it's never been opened up. I was probably the first person to open this thing up. Got a date code over here, if you can see it. Uh, let's see. So, 67. So, this is a really late. Uh, blackface amp actually one of the last series of blackface super reverbs and AB763 circuit there's a little bit of corro corrosion on, uh, on the power transformer here uh, you can see that but I think it's just on the outside you know and there's been some spiders in here but overall, with the way these chassis were designed, you know, you saw how much rust was on this thing inside and out, but pretty much inside, we're, we're still looking good. All right, guys, this was a heck of a day to film this, go get it, test it, all that jazz. So I'm going to uh, probably go grab some food and call it a day. Thank you for watching, and... Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.